iFile for the iPad has two very cool features. One is you can share your files from your iPad with your Mac, PC or any other device that has a browser. And the other is you can download an MP4 from YouTube. These are two very cool features that are very worthwhile to have on your iPad. iFiles is not native to the iPad so you will need to install it from the, from the iStore. If your iPad is connected to the wireless network, then your wireless indicator will show. Holding your finger on that wireless indicator will bring up this block. In the status block, you will notice the IP address or the address used to access this iPad via the network. If you type that address into a browser on a PC, Mac or another device, you'll be able to access the files on this iPad. Take note. There's no security or password on the default setup of, of this sharing. So take care when you connect to a wireless network. This is what the files look like accessed from another iPad. It's worth mentioning security again because the default setting is sharing on and password not required. So be, be very careful before going into a wireless area that you don't trust. Hold and press the settings icon. The settings page will emerge. Here you can switch sharing on and off and you can switch the requirements for passwords on and off. Downloading a video from YouTube to embed into a presentation, an ebook or even another video is very handy if you want to be able to play this video offline. First click on the icon indicated. YouTube will open automatically and you'll be able to search for the video or type in the URL that you want to go to. First start playing the video, then click on this icon, and then click on the save video button. Staying in the same screen, click on this icon. That will bring down this progress indicator, which will indicate once your video has completed its download. Then click on the home button to return to our files. Once you're back in our files and your download is completed, Holding your finger down on the downloaded video brings up this option. Here you're able to rename it, upload, share, email, or just move it into another folder. I hope this video was a benefit to you.